Okay, so as we're creating, let's create some bushes around this area. And uh, we always can just take a tree of what we've done before. Now we can take any of those plants and just place them smaller as a tree. And I do like when um, how elder look as a bush. It's kind of look very nicely. So we can go bring there, shrink a bit down, and just seed it underground. So you can see it will look more like a bush so the background. And some of them we don't need even shrinking. We'll just bring kind of this area. Okay, let's create more. Same things. We'll just go and put them down right here. And we can create, put maybe some around this area. Again, we don't necessarily need shrink. If we just create them far away, they will look smaller. And that's what I want to do. I want to just take them a little bit more far away. Bring down. Okay. Around this area. And remember, we want to put it some on this side as well. Kind of almost like bushes, maybe even create a line of them. The reason is actually why I sometimes using single instance inside paint, uh, painting. It is will have a little bit less um, populations, a little bit less size on them. Okay, let's make this smaller. So I don't want to hide trees all the way, but I just want to place it okay, around and let's select a different color. So we'll give it all this diversity, a little bit of coloring. Okay, and put it one on this side right there. Okay. It's kind of almost like painting pre-building. So let's put a bush right there. When you do with your normal brush, just add a touches around here. Okay, bring it down there. And you know what? Let's bring one closer. It's kind of like bigger. So you'll notice in a second, let's render, and you can see how those ones already start blending um, in our scenery. So right here before. So right there, we have to build those. Okay, and we can preview. You can see before and after so you can see how they did kind of bring everything together maybe bring more right on this edge maybe some right here bush bring one more closer run around this area and put a few plants maybe right on the back make kind of this area a little bit heavier so overall i'm also looking on lighting how it's going okay and don't worry, those ones look a little bit empty. That is okay. We're going to add some fog and some atmospheric effect to this to give it this distance look to the mountains. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll just go select the plant tree. And you know what? Let's select something else. Doesn't matter, just variety in our plants. And we'll go take and place this maybe in a little bit on the back right there. Okay, let's go another one. And we'll put this clip it right there down here. Another one. Just so we kind of have these lines. I don't necessarily like perfect horizontal lines. So we'll put right there. And place it around there one more. Again, what we're doing right now, we're doing it uh, more as a still art, more as a painting. If you, you can still animation this one if you need it. But when you do animation, be sure the placement of the plants where you do other stuff, they in the right spaces because um, otherwise you may have it some floating plants or other things that you probably don't want to have it. And then the way in a place, if you put it, you may have a little bit problem with this. Okay, so right here, our tree, let's shrink a little bit down and bringing down like this. 
Okay. Okay, so it's add some effect and you know what? Let's take some any big tree and we'll just go maybe pick up something. Okay, how about the just that tree? Okay, yeah, let's do this way. And all what I want to do with the dead tree is just add a little bit right here. So just something different. Okay. So we'll add a little bit effect right on the framing on the border. So almost something coming out from that area. Okay, I think we're kind of good for now for the plants. We're always going to add more and uh, let's work on a lighting in the next tutorials.